cigarettes started becoming popular, I got into that, and I guess that's what made my habit worse. Um, the reason why I want to share this with you today is because I realized that a lot of college students smoke, and so I thought it was just relevant to share with you. Um, these are the demographics of uh, ethnicity groups broken down into who smokes and what percentage smokes. Uh, so as you can see, uh, those are the numbers there. Um, according to ABC News, by uh, an article by Liz Nefore, 41.9% uh, of all college students smoke, and that's why I thought it was relevant to share with you guys. Um, everyone already knows the health risk of smoking cigarettes, but nobody really knows the, like, electronic cigarettes are somewhat a gray area. People say it's healthier or it's not as bad, but that's the reason why I'm sharing with you today because it's um, it's proven that it can actually uh, be worse. So um, before I start my speech, I want or first I'll I will explain to you when uh, vapes came about and um, how or not how they were made, but just when they were introduced to the United States, and then I will talk about uh, what vapes really are. And then I will um, conclude with how they can actually uh, be worse. So these are just pictures of some electronic cigarettes, like the more popular ones. But um, so according to that same article by Liz, uh, Liz Nepporent from ABC News, they were made in China first in um, 2003, and then they were later introduced to us in 2007. Um, when these hit us, they were more appealing to underage people because um, the FDA hasn't made rules on them so much. And you know, as everyone knows, you have to be 18 to smoke. But these you can buy on the internet really easily, and that was starting to become a problem. But um, according to another article by uh, Susan Cassidy on 10 little known facts about e-cigarettes, um, these starting kits range from about. Thirty to a hundred dollars, and as you can see here, how they work. This is the battery, and that's charged by a USB, just like how you would charge your phone. You can charge it in your car, whatever. Um, it comes with a tank, which is this right here, that holds your liquid, which is different flavors that you can smoke out of, or different flavors that you can have when you smoke. So cigarettes, of course, tobacco, and then they have menthol. But this, you can do the same thing, or you can do like bubble gum. They have all those different flavors like that. And then um, the top, I don't know if you can see it down here, but this little tip, that's what you, that's what the vape comes out of and you inhale. And then there's a little um, cotton filter in the middle that absorbs the liquid and that's supposed to make it healthier for you, but it really doesn't matter. And um, so as you can see, these are usually the starter kits. They start off pretty cheap. I mean, they say 30 to 100, and that's true. This is about a $25 one. This one, of course, you see, you can bedazzle it and do whatever you want. And then um, these are different mods that you can get, and they actually are a lot more expensive than 100. They're, they range from about three to 500, just depending on what color you get and how it's made, stuff like that. And then you also have all these, uh, all these parts right here, you have to buy individually. And those are about 15 to 30, and then just depending on what material, it can go up to 50 too. Um, so now, after I've told you uh, what vapes are and uh, when they came about, I want to go on to tell you how they can possibly be worse than smoking regular cigarettes. So this is just the breakdown component of the cigarette and what uh, and the chemicals that it uh, contains. So as you can see, nicotine, that's the um, addictive component of a cigarette. And then there's arsenic and just things that you wouldn't or you shouldn't be inhaling. The, the difference between a cigarette and a vape is that you have liquid. And according to, um, sorry. According to Laura Broadwell from medshadow.org, the nicotine that you, or the liquid that you put into your cartridge, it claims that there might be zero nicotine in it or, um, and it can go up to uh, 18. But the truth is, even with zero, there's actually some nicotine in there, so you never just have zero, and that's how it could be dangerous and worse. Um, the fact that it's a liquid, it's, it can seep into your lungs, which is another bad thing, obviously, and 
ahead. Um, people like to argue and say that it's a lot cheaper because, I mean, I smoke I smoke about a pack a day, and that's like five to seven dollars, depending on where you you buy your cigarettes. And this, they say, is a lot cheaper because you're putting down about a hundred that then and there, but then you get to save money because you're not smoking as much. But that's not the truth because after you buy that, you like to add things onto it. You want to get a different mod, stuff like that, and so you end up putting out more money. And um, another great area is that, like I said before, children can get their hands on this. I mean, when I was still in high school, I was seeing freshmen who were already smoking this, and it, I asked them where they got it, and it was because they got it off of the internet. And So in conclusion, people are aware of cigarettes, but not of, of vapes. And um, yeah, they're cheaper because uh, you're not spending money every day, but it all still adds up in the end. And the reason why I wanted to share this with you is because I, I mean, I smoke and so I thought I was, so I was credible enough to talk about it because I've been through both things. But I just wanted to share with you guys how dangerous it is.